What's up guys, my name is Joe and last week we covered 10 style trends to drop in 2020. So if you missed that video, you can check it out right up here. And this week we're doing the same, but for hairstyles. And trust me, we've got a juicy list. Speaking of juicy, right now, if you purchase any Blue Mod product on our website, uh, you can choose a mini travel size product of your choice to come with your order completely free. I've seen so many people asking when the discovery kit will be back in stock, and I can tell you that we're planning on getting that going again in the new year. But for now, any product you buy, you can choose a mini travel size product to come with your order completely free. It's a great way for you to pick your staple styling product and then also see what else our line has to offer. So yeah, any order you place, you'll get one of these little ones for free. You can choose it while stocks last. Also, shoe, just saw the shoe. This is from the last video. Let's go ahead and talk hairstyles to drop. Number one, you guys already know my thoughts on this. The clean, crispy lineups, it's time to say bye-bye. Once upon a time, these super clean, crispy cuts showed the world that you're a man who takes pride in his self-appearance and grooming. Well, guess what? You're not special anymore because in this day and age, so many more guys than pretty much in the history of ever are caring about their appearance and the way that they look. And there are so many different ways to represent this now. The clean, crispy lineups is now just too rigid and too polished. It comes across as too serious and one dimensional. And I'm not saying it's a trend that is gone forever. Who knows what the future has in hold for us, but for right now and for 2020, the clean, crisp lineups, bye-bye. Number two, straight out of the bloom on a hairstyle lookbook itself the super high, super high volume. I feel like us guys all figured out how to get crazy volume around the same time. So when we figured it out, we were like, hey, check us out world. Look at my hair, look how high it is. Look how special I am. And I was there with you boys, all right? Don't, don't get me wrong. But too much volume is not proportional. And if you go too far, it makes your head shape look weird instead of flattering. And it's one of the main reasons why I've been liking the longer sides. It helps me to keep a good amount of volume, but everything looks a little bit more proportional. Third up is frosted spiky tips tips okay and to be fair there is definitely a lot less of this than there used to be highlights are great texture is great but this combination this isn't it this is the i'm gonna pop my little cousin's birthday balloons with my head look and uh you know no nobody thinks it's a vibe especially girls in fact it is just straight up female repellent number four i'm telling you guys this is the absolute worst and instagram can't seem to get enough of these hairstyles and that is the fake artificial texture added with hairspray i do not know why instagram barbers obsess over these hairstyles other than the fact that they look you know kind of impressive from an artistic perspective for like five seconds before it's like all right man you know i've seen enough not only does it look completely artificial but your hair is going to be so crispy you could probably snap it off with just your fingers definitely not something your girl's going to find uh, fun or attractive to play with if it's just like bounces off like a i don't know rubber ball please instagram hair content of 2020 let's see some improvements next up we've got the flowy fringe there are definitely some fringe hairstyles that look cool like in my opinion the shorter fringe look with some texture is definitely solid but the product free eyebrow level fringe look needs to stay in the past brush it off swoop it in the past number six it is crazy how big of a trend this was and how quickly this fell off but i still see this a lot and that is da 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 da, da the top knot aka onion right here in the back. I mean, it's been four years since the top knot was at its peak. And even back then it was controversial. And now if you see it, it's just like, bro, what are you doing? Big side note here, the top knot is different to the man bun. The man bun is a full head of hair grown out with an actually acceptable size bun. There are definitely guys out there that can pull off the man bun, especially more built guys with beards. But the top knot itself, time to move on number seven this does have a place for some people but it was definitely more of a of a trend uh, than anything else and that is the french crop i'm gonna say this if the french crop is your go-to like your personal hairstyle of choice then rock it nothing wrong with that but if you're in the market for a new hairstyle then this one has definitely been trailing behind now for a little bit the french crop is a really short fringe hairstyle sometimes with texture sometimes without and was really big in 2018 but is the true definition of a trend and as trends usually do this one's fading out, ha, huh. no pun intended. Number eight, random line work. You know, lines over here, lines up here. You got a star in the back. If you're in your teens or younger, then you know, sure, try it out, have some fun, doesn't matter. But for everyone else, line work, it just looks tacky. It did at one point kind of have its place, but you know, that place is just no longer here. I know guys love to do things for the sake of looking cool, but just like in this example, Trying to, you know, trying too hard to look cool can actually backfire. If you want to look cool, but you're not sure how, stick to the classic hairstyle options. You know, it might not have that pop like that line, 
but it's gonna look a lot better. And similar to number eight, for number nine, we've got the hard parts. Again, hard parts were in for a while. And for those of you who don't know, a hard part is a hairstyle where your hair parting is shaved in with a razor to create an artificial part. The benefit is that it's really easy to part your hair if you have a hard part. The downside is just like the random line work we talked about, it's really easy to make a hard part look tacky. Especially here in 2020 on its way, a messier side part always wins over a clean hard part every time. And finally, number 10, slick long hair. I was sitting in one of my favorite coffee shops where I like to do a lot of work when I was putting this script together, looked over to my left, and there he was, the perfect inspiration for number 10. There are definitely longer hairstyles that can suit guys, but when your hair looks stuck to the top of your head and just falls off the back, this isn't it. If you're rocking long hair, keep it free flowing, keep it messier. This is way better than slicking it down and then having it just trail kind of at the back. Boom, 10 hairstyles to drop in 2020. Let me know if you guys think there's any more that need to be dropped, added to this list. And don't forget with every Bloom On product order, you can choose one of these travel size products for free to come in with your order. Thank you guys for watching. Merry Christmas almost is coming up now. Uh, and I'll see everybody next time.